You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner, Dr. Stephen Cabral, shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Here we are on day two of our Cabral host calls, where we answer all of our community's questions each and every weekend. Really looking forward to today's questions. Totally different than yesterday's show. So hopefully you got a chance to tune into yesterday's show. That would be stephencabral.com forward slash 631. And today's, all the show notes, all the questions, all of the product reviews, anything that I speak about will be at Stephen Cabral dot com forward slash 632. So let's get started today. First question coming in is from Rhonda. Rhonda is asking, I have a deep ridge in one of the nails on my left hand, and that has been there for close to a year. I've not slammed it in anything, so I'm concerned it is a sign of an underlying condition. Any and all information on what to do would be greatly appreciated. It's been there close to a year. I have not seen any doctors regarding it. I've researched it, and it can only find it can be a form of poor absorption. I suffer from muscle cramps regularly and wonder if the two are related. I only drink water and have coconut water daily. My diet has not been great until recently when I started your fat loss diet, which has been great. I've been on it for two weeks and have lost weight. Before the diet, I still ate pretty healthy, eating grass-fed and organic foods as much as possible. I am not a big sugar eater, but I do love fruit. Okay, Rhonda, great question. And you know what? Yesterday, I wrote down some notes about additional shows to do. I'm also going to do a show on nail diagnosis. I've done one on tongue diagnosis before. So I'm going to do one on nail diagnosis, and then I'll do one on facial diagnosis in the future. So look for those on upcoming Cabral House Calls. We'll do those on probably a Total Wellness Tuesday. I think that's probably the uh, best way to do those facial and tongue ones. But let me give you just a little information on what a ridge in the nail can mean. We call it, yes, poor absorption in Ayurvedic and Chinese medicine. That's for sure. Something to do with digestion. Sometimes can be psoriasis of the nail or it can be like an eczema of the nail when it starts to get a little pitted or it starts to get a little ridge there. So, But always going back to digestion, always going back to the gut. My highest recommendation, of course, is to run the organic acids test by Great Plains Lab. We ship, that, ship those out from our wellness center in Boston, Massachusetts, right to your house. You get it. You do a simple, simple urine test one morning. Basically, you wake up, you pee in a little cup, you ship it in by a FedEx prepaid mailer. It goes to the lab. We get your results. I review your results, and I give our health coach a plan for you to implement simply the best way I know to be able to help people with their gut health. We'll tell you exactly what's going on. That is exactly what I could recommend. So happy to hear that you're already moving on to the fat loss diet plan. I know you'll do great on it. And then if you want to take things to the next level, you can either just do the candida bacterial overgrowth protocol, or you can do the Great Plains organic acids test. All right, Rhonda, hopefully that helps you out. Mark is up next. Mark's asking, hello, Dr. Ball. Hope you are well. I just listened to your podcast on CBD oil. Last weekend, I went to Seattle for a Qigong workshop, which was great. And I slept pretty darn well out there. After returning to Colorado, as the week progressed, things got stressful and I didn't sleep so well and got some new breakouts on my face. I'm thinking I should try some CBD for anxiety and sleep. What do you think? Can you recommend a CBD brand or product for me to purchase? Also, can you recommend a naturopath or a functional medicine doctor in Denver, Boulder, Colorado area? All the best. Mark, Mark, I'm a huge fan of Boulder, Colorado. I go out there once a year for a company that I consult for that I help out. That's a really big nutrition player in the space. I love what they're doing, which is why I'm happy to give some any insights I can give to them because they're doing it for the right reasons. They're really helping people. Love that. Love being able to share that with them. And then they pass it on to other people. I can't mention the company name, of course, because non-disclosure is all that other legal stuff that people get into. But that has nothing to do with CBD oil. I think that was just talking about how much I love Boulder. I really do love it out there. Been out there spring, summer, and uh, winter time, and it's amazing. So here's the thing about Boulder, though, is you can get CBD oil legally out there. You can get it at any one of the 
I don't even know, dispensaries, I guess they call them. And you should look for an organic brand and you should look for a brand that is pure CBD that has no THC in it. And you should get, my preferred dosage is 50 milligrams per dose, but you can start out 25 milligrams, which is what our brand is for a half a drop or so. Mark, what you can do is this. You can literally, you could purchase the one that we use, which is all organic CBD oil. It is called decarboxylated. So it's very, very potent. It's third-party tested to have no heavy metals. Ours is the Equilibrium Nutrition brand. You just go to stevencabral.com forward slash store and then click on the supplements, but probably better off just going to stevencabral.com forward slash 632. And I'll just put the link in it for that. But if you feel more comfortable getting it at one of your local dispensaries, just make sure it's an organic brand and you should be all set with that. And yes, then I would look into potentially our sleep test. Not a lot of people talk about that, but we have a great sleep test for high cortisol at night and melatonin. And you could also use liquid melatonin at night. You could use the natural compounder at night. You could use our deep sleep protocol at night. There's so many things to do. Why are there so many things to do? Well, people don't sleep for about a half a dozen reasons. We can fix all of those reasons very, very easily. We just typically test to figure out which one it is. Hopefully that helps. But yes, I do recommend CBD oil and it will most likely work great for you. Janice is up next. Janice is asking, oh, sorry, Mark, you had one more question. I jumped too far ahead. Functional medicine doctor, you can work with myself or our health coaches on my team over Skype anywhere in the world. That is literally just by going to stephencabral.com forward slash store and going under the consulting part and click on the application to apply to work with either myself or one of our health coaches. Or if you want to work with someone other than our team, you can look for the Institute for Functional Medicine, IFM, and then you can click on their practitioner page and type in your zip code or type in your state. And that will take you to all the different functional medicine certified practitioners in your area. Hope that helps. All right, Janice is up next. Janice is asking, what is the best test to check for liver health? Can you check if it goes through phase one and phase two detox? Thanks. Okay, yes, Janice, you can in a roundabout kind of way. So there are lots of tests. I mean, like anything, there are lots of tests, but you just want to get the most bang for your buck. So when you're going for your annual blood work, you're looking at your AST, ALT levels for liver enzymes. Those, of course, should be within normal range. That means that there's less liver-based dysfunction. It could be so many different, different things. It could be biliary stasis. It could be viruses. It could be, I mean, it could be so many different things. So that's your blood work. Your blood work is typically fine unless there is something really wrong. And then, of course, it's not fine. And that's when you really have to take care of it. But hopefully we figure it out before that. Now, how do you figure out phase one and phase two? I'm a huge advocate of the genetic test. So the genetic test actually shows you what your genetic predisposition is to phase one and phase two detox. Meaning that it's so good, like it's so dialed in that you can actually look at specific SNPs. They're called single nucleotide polymorphisms. Okay, and one of the things that I look for right away on the um, genetics labs that we use, it's again, if you've never heard about the genetic lab that we use, literally best in the world, it's just a saliva sample. They give you a 99-page report. And this is the only lab test on stephencabral.com that I personally get on the phone for 30 minutes with people to explain it, give them the overview, and then they get the whole 100-page report. All the other labs I do personally review myself, but the recommendations are then given to one of my health coaches and the health coaches take you through those specific recommendations. It's just a time thing. I'm not able to obviously speak with hundreds of people a month on the phone, but we have a great team that is. And the genetic test, I just really, I'm such a huge fan that I believe every person should do this. I run them for whole families, for kids. So everybody knows what their genetic predispositions are. So essentially on this lab test, it looks at your phase one and phase two genetic potential. And they look at this thing for phase one called cytochrome P450. CYP is what it's denoted as. So it's CYP1B1 is one of the markers. And you would just look at, you know, if there's any procarcinogen activation, CYP1A1 is another one. I'm just trying to think of some others. COMT is another big one for phase one detoxification. So you would look at COMT. For phase two, you're looking at the GSTT1 and GSTM1. You're looking at what other marker? GSTP1 is another marker. So essentially what you're looking at is how well are you doing using your vitamins and minerals to create a, basically take a fat soluble toxin and turn it into a water soluble toxin during phase two detox. That test will let you know if you're going to be deficient probably on some of those sulfur-based amino acids in phase two, 
like N-acetylcysteine and glutathione, sulforaphane, anything like that. And then phase one will look more towards your glutamine and zinc and selenium and B vitamins and all that other great stuff. So hopefully that helps in terms of the genetics. So that's like your predisposition. And then when you run an organic acids test, I always talk about in terms of digestion, but it's 75 biomarkers. It's one of my favorite tests, if not my favorite test. And what that looks at is it actually has two markers for glutathione. And if you're producing large amounts of glutathione, there's a really good bet that your body is working hard to detoxify because why else would your body produce that much of an antioxidant or a, a something used in phase two liver detoxification? So that's what I would do. That's what I look at. There are other factors as well, but that's the easiest and best place, in my opinion, to start. Okay, Teresa is up next. Hello, Dr. Ball. First off, thank you for the wealth of information you provide to your listeners. It's truly has made a difference in my life. My daughter has the symptoms of HS, which is hydrogenitis superativa, sorry, hydrogenitis superativa. And last year she saw a dermatologist, but all they do is suggest taking some form of medication and wear light clothing so there's no rubbing on her skin. She would diagnose with HS, but when I looked up her symptoms, everything matches what she was suffering from. She has marble-sized lumps on her armpits, occasionally groin area, back, and various parts of her body, and they do drain pus. I truly appreciate any knowledge and information you can share in helping her heal. So, Teresa, I actually have experience with all of these issues in terms of, keep in mind, hydrogenitis, superativa, not easy for me to say, is like boils, it's like folliculitis, it's like any of these skin-based infections where your body is trying to push bacteria through the skin. So whenever I say, wow, the body has this cystic-based acne, this, these boils, this folliculitis, I'm looking at a pH imbalance of the skin, and I'm looking at bacteria in the body that needs a root out of the body. So when I see that, I'm basically just thinking to myself, this person has, quote, end quote, dirty blood, and their body has a lot of bacteria in it. So my first thing I do is, of course, I'm going to do the 21-day Dr. Ball Detox. And then after that, I'm, well, before that, I would run an organic acids test to look at if there is bacterial overgrowth. And if there is candida overgrowth, and right away I'm looking at that, then I would do the 21-day Dr. Ball detox. You'll get your results back. And if your results show positive for bacteria, positive for candida, then I'm going right on to the candida and bacterial overgrowth protocol. That is exactly what I would recommend. And I hope that helps you out. Okay, Lowe is up next. Lowe is saying, hi, I love your mindset and motivation Mondays. And now I almost wish every day was a Monday. Unfortunately, I've listened to all of them now. And I wish there was more. Could you please recommend some books, articles, or especially podcasts that motivate you in your life? Thank you and keep up the good work. Lo, thank you very much. I appreciate that. You know, Mindset and Motivation Mondays really are my favorite day of the week as well. I mean, I love every day. I love, you know, that's why I do five different days of the week is so that I hope that things don't get stale for you. I don't want things to get stale for me. It, it really could never. I've been doing this my entire life. But I love, I mean, it just... The Mindset and Motivation Mondays is really where it's at because I can give you all of the information in the world. I can give you the information that I just gave right there to Teresa. But if you're not motivated to do it, or her daughter or whoever she's writing in for is not motivated to do it, meaning they don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, they're not going to take action. And that's the problem. I really believe right now there's a blueprint for everything in life. I believe I have the blueprint to help you lose weight, to get well, and to live longer. I know I have that blueprint for sure. Because I see it every day work in my practice. And I wouldn't be that confident if I didn't see it work. And there's no way I would put my name on any of this if I didn't believe you were going to get the results that I promised you. So that's that. But there's a blueprint for everything. There's a blueprint for relationships, for career, for all of these different things. Meaning like there's someone who right now is doing and receiving the rewards that you want. Meaning they're doing the work that you want to do. They're receiving the, the rewards, whatever the outcome is, that you want. And I really believe you just need to find that person, hire them as a coach if possible. And if you can't hire them as a coach, read their book or, or just follow their plan. Like that's really what I recommend. You might not be perfect. You might not get it exactly right. But guess what? You're going to learn a lot along the way. You're going to recalibrate. You're going to get better and you're going to keep moving forward. And that's what I talk about on my Mindset Motivation Mondays. That was a little Mindset Motivation Monday right there. But it's the truth. And the truth doesn't change. People know it when they hear the truth. They don't want to accept it. You know, they, you might not want to accept what I just said, that there's a blueprint for you to get well, lose the weight, get the career you want, live longer. You might not want to accept that because then it, it means you have to do the work. And I understand not everyone's ready to do the work. I get that. There's nothing wrong with that either. You're just not there yet in your life. 
It doesn't mean don't stop listening to it. One day it's going to click and then you will be ready. You know, you will be. And that's the time to move forward. But the truth is the truth. So, I mean, I need daily motivation like the next person. And that's part of my 60 minute to 90 minute morning routine. I wake up in the morning and I have a leisurely 60 minutes. I wake up before the rest of the world. And that includes me right away getting out of bed and getting ready. I shower, I shave, I get ready for the day because I can't allow myself to snooze. I can't allow myself to just, you know, just like, oh, I'm just going to dilly dally a little bit because that makes me tired. I have to get right into my day. I need to spark my you know, nervous system to say, it's time to start the day. It's time to start producing cortisol. And luckily, I use my wake light. So I have a lot of little hacks like that and they work great. It works for me. But then as I'm getting ready in the morning, I'm also watching a video or I'm listening to an audio book. I do read books and I, obviously, you know that I read books, but I do that a lot during lunch. I do that later at night. I do that a lot on the weekends. And in the morning, I might read five pages, 10 pages, but I, I am watching a video or I am listening to some type of audio track. My favorite people are Jim Rohn. I've spoken about him many, many times in the past. He has now since passed. Amazing motivational speaker. He was Tony Robbins' mentor. So you can imagine how great I like Tony Robbins as well. You can imagine it, how great Tony Robbins is. Well, Jim Rohn was his mentor. So I've recommended his CDs in the past. Maybe just type Jim Rohn into stephencabral.com forward slash podcast, and you'll find the five CD or MP3 package that I like by him. I like Les Brown a lot. Les Brown's um, a machine. He's absolutely fantastic. He's been around a long time. I love Dr. Joseph Murphy's books on the subconscious mind. I'm deep into psychology. I'm deep into philosophy. I love that. It's a passion of mine. It's helped me, I believe, with my functional medicine and naturopathic practice. And that's because if I can't get people to want to make change, then I can't get them to get, follow the plan that I know will help them get well. I just recently kind of someone mentioned about a year ago, start checking out like the Abraham Hicks books and Esther. Oh man, I'm sorry. Again, I'm like, I'm, I'm newer, newer to that world, but I know people are deep into um, the Abraham books. And I love those videos just on YouTube. I just type in that in and let me jog my memory, trying to think of the book and it's Esther Hicks and it's Abraham is essentially her guide, I believe. That's where she gets her information from. Now, now I'll, I'll be honest, whether you believe in that or not doesn't really matter because the truth is the truth. And when you listen to Esther Hicks through Abraham or whether it's Abraham through Esther Hicks, however you want to look at that, she's speaking the truth. And the truth is always the truth. And throughout the ages, whether, I mean, I've read the ancient Vedas, which is like, I've read the ancient texts by in Ayurvedic and Ayurvedic philosophy. And again, the truth is the truth. It's always been the truth. So when you listen to these things, you're like, you know what? It's right. It's true. So I love listening to those as well. There's so many. I mean, I listen to new people all the time because I'm constantly trying to grow. Like every day is a growth day. And every day I grow, every day I learn something new. I feel like it was a good day. If I stay stagnant, that's when I start to get irritable and nobody wants me irritable. So hopefully, Lo, that helps you. I really appreciate you saying that you like the Motivation and Mindset Mondays because I didn't know whether to put them in. A lot of my colleagues are like, why are you adding a motivation day when you're a naturopathic doctor? It's just because it's who I am and I'm not going to hide who I am so that I can pretend to be someone who I'm not. You know, Meaning that, yes, that's my formal degree and my specialties are in Ayurveda and functional medicine. But my passion is people. My passion is helping people. And I believe that in, in conventional medicine and even naturopathic medicine, we've forgotten that people are human and that your psychology affects your physiology and your physiology affects your psychology. So I need to work on the whole person, not just their maybe pathology. Okay, let's take one more question today. It's from Jennifer. She writes in, Dear Dr. Brawl, I'm 44 in fairly good health. I could lose about 25, 30 pounds and feel perfect. I did a seven-day detox in July and lost about 10 pounds and have kept nine off so far. Fantastic, Jennifer. That is fantastic, really. I have been struggling with my libido for quite some time now, and I know there is emotional component involved, but I believe it's more than that. At this point, my libido is now at a zero. Can you advise me what test to take or what supplements I should look into? I've not seen a physician for this as I am not interested in medications, if I can help it. Thank you for your time. I recommend you to all my clients, family, friends, Jennifer. Jennifer, thank you so much. One is I really appreciate the referrals to the Cabral Concept Podcast. My favorite thing, people ask, how can you help? Well, helping is obviously leaving a review on iTunes. I would love that if you can do that. But also just sharing the message. I mean, that's the whole point. I'm going to be doing this for decades to come. 
The more people we can get on this, the sooner, the better. That's it. We need to share this information with people because the information has a, is kind of like a theme today. It's universal. It's the truth. When I'm working with people you know, in India and, and or I talk with someone in Skype in the Middle East or in Iceland, or I just spoke with someone in South America, work with people in Puerto Rico and Australia, like literally humans are humans. The truth is the truth. And so that's why you can pass this around to anyone in the world. It speaks the truth. And that's that's what I just try to share again, like just in my own way. So here's the deal. You obviously did a great job with the, with the seven day detox. It's July. So August, September, October. Okay. So I'd recommend doing another seven day detox, clean things out. Before you do that, I would run the hair tissue mineral analysis and the adrenal stress hormone profile if possible. Okay. If possible, if you want to go deeper and you're worried about your libido and you're worried about your energy, then I would run the weight loss test. That's even better because that covers your adrenal and hormones, but it adds your thyroid as well. So in a perfect world, if you were my private wellness client in a perfect world, you came in with just these symptoms. That was the main thing. Hair tissue mineral analysis and the weight loss test. Bottom line, that's what I would recommend. So here's the thing though. Libido, yes. I'm telling you right now, if your body's in the fight or flight, it shuts off libido. It really does. I see people in these emotional-based situations, issues at work, worried about losing a job, worried about a family member, maybe a parent that's sick, worried about a child, and husband and wife or you know partners, they don't react the same way, so they don't feel it. Like one person you know, still has that sexual desire and the other person is just dropped. And it's tough because you know, when the libido is down, it's not like you don't love the person. It's just you don't feel that, you know, that zest, that energy, that vitality. And I'll tell you, it does have to do with the body, meaning that if your body is inflamed, if it is crying out because there's a lack of minerals, if it is stressed, you need to take care of it. But I'm telling you, all, like nine out of 10 times, eight out of 10 times, we fix this with people by calming down the entire central nervous system. Because if your body believes it's in fight or flight, if your body's in fight or flight, it believes it's in a survival-based situation. It is natural. It's not uncommon. It's not unnormal, if that's even a word, for your body to shut down libido. Why? You're in a fight or flight situation, which means your body's trying to survive. If your body's trying to survive, why would it use sex as a way to bring on procreation of bringing another child into this life, right? It just makes sense. Again, it should be common sense, but like your body's never messing up. Like doctors like, oh, well, you know, it's this. No, like your body's never messing up. You're in a fight or flight situation. Your body's trying to survive. It slows down metabolism. It shuts off libido. It speeds up heart rate. Like these are all normal things to get you to survive a situation and not bring more human life into the world. Like this just makes sense. So Jennifer, I know we can help you. Those are the two labs I would recommend. And if you don't want to run the labs yet, although that is what I recommend, I would at least start with doing the natural calm magnesium powder before bed, magnesium citrate. And I would use the adrenal complete care for two tabs at breakfast, two tabs at dinner. And I would do the Dr. Paul daily protocol every morning. That would be how I would get started. And I would also use the omega-3 support, two capsules with dinner or pure omega with dinner, which is your omega-3 anti-inflammatory, which also helps with balancing hormones. So you can play that back. You can listen to those recommendations. But again, they're just recommendations because you're not a private wellness client. I've never seen your labs, but those are safe. I mean, we're talking about magnesium. We're talking about adrenal-based, calming adrenal-based products, not the support adrenal, but the adrenal complete care. And we're talking about doing the Dr. Wall daily protocol in the morning, which is your daily nutritional support. So you get all the vitamins and minerals that you might be missing. And then you get the daily fruit and vegetable blend, which is 22 organic fruits and vegetables. Meaning that if you do that, you're covering pretty much most of your basis. I still like to run the labs to look at thyroid-based issues, to look at cortisol-based issues. But if you don't want to run those, then I would at least get started with the supplementation. Hopefully that helps. Amazing questions today. Thank you so much to everyone that has listened today and also wrote in. Again, just really appreciative of every listen and every download and every review that you leave and can't wait for tomorrow because it's our favorite day of the week. It is our Mindset and Motivation Monday. Can't wait to share that with you. It's going to be a great one. Take care. Are you ready to heal yourself and then go on to heal others? If so, the Integrative Health Practitioner Institute can help you discover proven functional medicine protocols that blend the best of seven different healing disciplines from around the world. I personally share with you the exact handouts and protocols I use in my private practice that enable people to get well, lose the weight, and live longer, stronger. I want to pass this information on to the next generation of health coaches, and that is exactly why I created IHP. 
We are the future of the health coaching industry and the skills and knowledge you will learn will make you an in-demand certified health coach anywhere in the world. Although we have many medical professionals taking the IHP certifications, no experience is necessary and half our members have no previous health certifications. At the Integrative Health Practitioner Institute, our motto is a health coach in every home. Our goal is that you take this knowledge and then share it with family, friends, loved ones, your community, or any practice where you create a career you love and can be proud of. The global IHP community is filled with some of the most kind and caring people in the world, and we can't wait to welcome you into our world soon. For more information or to set up a discovery call with one of our IHP Health Coach graduates, simply head over to IntegrativeHealthPractitioner.org.